Good morning, me again, welcome back. Okay, there's this thing that humans have discovered called love. It's got pretty good reviews. The only downside is that it makes you act dumb. And this other thing that hinders your vision called blindness. I saw a trailer of a reality TV show with these two concepts in mind, along with a bunch of people being red flags. I thought, okay, interesting. Let me mentally prepare myself before binge watching this in a few days. And for the past two days, it feels like I just scooped out my brain, put it on the counter, and just yelled at it. You guys ever heard of the Netflix show called Love is Blind? Apparently, I'm already late to the party. There's already two seasons. You're about to go on a wild ride that's gonna last about 15 minutes. Grab a snack and hold on to your belongings, because this roller coaster has a lot of problems. Love is Blind answers the age old question What happens when you speed run your engagement to someone you've never met before? For 10 days in a speed dating format, the men and women date each other in different pods that sort of look like cells that rich celebrities stay in when they go to jail. After scoping each other out, the guys can propose to the girl or girls they want to marry, depending on who accepts, based on nothing but good old fashioned talking about deep topics. Like, I wish I looked like JLo. Hello? There's no place like home. Oh my god, I gotta pick my wedgie again. By the way, everyone from the season is from Chicago, and I just want to ask the people that are from Chicago, what is in your water? Because all of the contestants had a slight tendency of being and looking unhinged. That's Shane, by the way. Uh, we'll get to him, don't worry. This group of eccentric Chicagoans will be put to the test to find out is love really blind? And after watching this entire show in the span of two days, who the hell knows? But I know that if I ever do a test where I drop my phone, it'll be protected because Casetify is sponsoring us. They sent me some new phone cases from their new Impact and Ultra Impact line that are actually made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials to help with eliminating single-use plastic. For my specific phone model, I find it pretty hard to find cases that I like that still offer a lot of protection. It's either I carry around a large brick that won't break even if I threw it against the wall, or something cute and dainty that will shatter instantly if I accidentally bump into something. Casetify has so many different colors and customizations for a handful of phone models. Curated prints, different fonts, and custom layouts. There's a case design that'll suit anyone's taste. And if you're wanting something even more customized, you can make your own phone case, just like I did. These ones here have art from artists that I like that do digital art and illustrations. And if you can't tell what this is, no worries. For some reason, a lot of people can't. It's a picture of my dog that I drew myself. See? The resemblance is uncanny. These cases have a lot of cool technology like G-Tech 2.0, which drop protects your phone to up to 9.8 feet. They're also 5G compatible and have wireless charging. Here, let me show you that drop test now for that military-grade drop protection. Huh. <laughs> Still good. Still turns on, no cracks. All good. I've actually never thought about getting someone a phone case as a gift before, but this is a super customizable and easy gift idea for people. If you know me in person, expect some gifts with either my face on it or your face. I'm also a little bit of a germaphobe, and knowing that these cases have an antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of bacteria gives me another added layer of reassurance, since I see people as walking bags of germs nowadays. Go to casetify.com slash invasion to save 15% off your order, and thanks to them and you guys for supporting the channel. So the first contestant we're gonna look at on Love is Blind is Natalie, a 29 year old consulting manager. If a Kardashian was on the show, I feel like this is what they would be like. Very goal oriented and high maintenance, but with a little bit of Sundere vibes. Natalie is very hot and cold with her emotions, just like that Katy Perry song. I mean, it is who you, who you are, so I think it's fine. That's first thing love, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm a nice guy. You're a piece of shit. And this girl here is Shayna, a god-loving hairdresser that lacks a drink, probably has signs like eat, pray, love in her living room, and thinks that evolution is fake. That last statement was real, by the way. So you don't believe in evolution? I do not believe in evolution at all. Stop it. I do not. And who are these two girls competing over, you ask? Well, remember that guy we saw before with the eyes and the teeth? That's Shane, a 32-year-old realtor that loves to laugh. That she liked me. <laughs> 
You know Shane is a good guy. He's here for the right reasons. The world is full of shallow people, and he's looking for a real connection. Uh, I work in real estate. Do you sell a lot? Because I feel like you have to be somewhat attracted to sell a lot. Well, I think there's a lot of shallow people in this world. Is that a normal question to ask people? You have to ask all the questions up front, okay? That's not what this is about. Oh yeah, this girl literally disappears from the show. She spent 10 days trapped in a pod for a 5 second cameo. And surprisingly, Shane hits it off with Natalie and Shayna. Him and Natalie have a lot in common, like they both put each other as their number ones in their little notebooks. You were my number one, so. Really? You were my number one too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my god. She loves his voice. There's something about your voice. <laughs> That's what everyone keeps telling me. And he loves the fact that she has teeth. Or he hopes that she does at least. And with Shayna, for someone that thinks people are shallow, he sure does spend a lot of time asking her what she's wearing. Like a lot. What are you what, what are you wearing over there right now? Give me your outfit details. Okay, so I'm actually wearing heels. I'm wearing like these cute like jogger slacks with a crop top. I love crop tops so Do you love a crop top? Much. You in your comfy clothes? I am. What are you wearing? Anyways. What are you wearing over there? They both mentioned that faith is really important to them, which is one of the reasons why Shayna is attracted to Shane. So much so that she casually mentions that she is very thirsty and uh, needs it at least five times a day, if you get what I'm saying. What? I'm not about drinking water. What are you thinking about? Oh, she says that she wants a lot of sex. I do have deep feelings for you. Well, this doesn't seem very make room for Jesus to me. Since Shane is doing this balancing act of talking to Natalie and Shayna, it's a little bit too much for his brain to handle, and he does a little oopsie with Natalie. That is very hard to watch. So let's watch. Hello? Hi. Who am I talking to? I don't know, take a guess. No, the, oh, Shayna, there you go. What? What? Oh, that's what I was hoping for. What indeed? What are you wearing over there? Hello? Hello? Shanna, stop. It's Natalie. Of course. I'm sorry. Are you good? What, you, you, do you think I'm a dick or what? Oh. Yikes. And you know what's even more unsettling than this clip? Shane's mannerisms that sort of resemble a giant toddler? Oh my god. I mean, sure, when I'm talking on the phone, sometimes I pace around in weird places and find myself standing on a table. But Natalie, you might want to ask Shane what his thoughts are about sharp objects that are kind of stabby. Listen, if you think I'm a dick, I, I feel like that's kind of weird, no offense, but... I mean, you did start off by calling your supposed number one a different name two times, and then proceeded to ask her what she's wearing. Is this just as bad as calling out someone else's name when you're on round five out of five? I have no idea. All I know is that the number five is ruined for me. But don't worry, Shane asked Natalie to be his girlfriend and everything works out fine. The fact I could marry you or someone else. Well, hold on, time on, not someone else. Let, 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 let's just like focus on this guy right here. <laughs> I know, right? Everything is moving way too fast for me too. I thought love just makes you blind, not give you whiplash every five minutes. I'm still processing Shane cosplaying a worm on the ground. Meanwhile, Shayna isn't putting all her eggs in one basket. She's finding out that she has chemistry with another guy named Kyle in a different pod. Hello. <gasps> Hi, honey. Shayna. <gasps> I love how you say my name. Oh, Shayna. Shayna, you say my name very good. Shayna. Probably have the best voice here. Stop lying. No, I'm, I'm serious. <gasps> Ugh. Sorry, I need to control my facial expressions better. I do see the connection though. Kyle knows one, maybe even two names. Kyle does construction, and her dad is also construction. I fell in love with Shayna through a wall, and now I'm gonna go pick her up, give her a kiss. Oh wait. Did I say chemistry? I meant whatever the opposite of chemistry is. There's one big problem that involves a third party, and I don't think Kyle is quite open to this idea. Now, I'm not religious at all. It's not the vibe. Um. So like, I'm like trying to be calm. Do you, are you atheist? Yeah. 
Oh. I know. However you're feeling, I, I can understand. We need to talk about it. Girl, if faith is so important to you, I would have zipped on out of there like Natalie showed up when Shane started stabbing the air. Well, but go on, I guess. I'm curious to see what Kyle is going to say. Let's say we get married. Okay. What if, like, we have babies, right? Okay. Little Kylie's running around. Damn. It's only been, like, what, two days? Can these people, like, chill a little bit? And they're at the dinner table, okay? And, and they're you like, say, let's say Grace. Yes. I'll try and fart or burp and say, who's Grace? <laughs> no. <laughs> See, that's a question I need to ask you. Shut up, Kyle. <laughs> Shana is literally five seconds away from losing it. I want to know why you're an atheist. <laughs> I just believe science. God is science. But the science doesn't check out. You think we're accidentally here? It's not an accident. Exactly. No, look, it's it's literally you like- Oh, so you believe like the Big Bang Theory? Yeah, it's explained. It makes sense. No, it does. It, it makes no sense. People are free to believe whatever they want, and we should respect each other's choices. But Shayna, you're a hairdresser, right? You know when you put bleach on your scalp to turn your hair blonde? I'm pretty sure that's science. I don't think God would be doing a high school experiment on your head. I, I feel like he would have more important things to do. Some guy wrote a book. Some guy? Yeah, wrote the Bible. Have you ever read it? I've read parts of it and I So am... exactly, every atheist has said that and until you read it, you cannot say anything about it. You're never gonna change my mind. I'm not trying to change your mind. I know, but I'm also not gonna like understand that. I'll pray for you, babe. I will also be sending thoughts and prayers, babe. Cause there is no way that this relationship is gonna work out at all. <sighs> Do you see the box? Are you holding it? Do you want me to hold it? I want you to, yeah. Okay. You're holding my mother's engagement ring. I don't see anything going wrong with this situation. Kyle and Shayna are engaged while sharing the totally different beliefs and values that they didn't work on before getting engaged. Nah, what could go wrong? Oh, the fact that Shayna is blonde and sneaky and goes straight to Shane while knowing he has a girlfriend to tell him she fell for him. While engaged to poor Kyle? I've told Shane that I've liked him, but I've not really said like, I have like deep feelings for you. And from what I've observed, he definitely needs reassurance. I just wanted you to know that I do have deep feelings for you. Oh no, she's trying to split them up like all those split ends she was picking up from her hair. It's just not happening now. The connection I have with Natalie is just so strong. It's too late for that. Good for Shane. Good for him for standing his ground. He put all his focus into his eyes and made the right choice. But Shane, you better give your friend Kyle a free house or something cause he really took a bullet for you there and saved you from a lot of mixed signals and toxic boss babe energy. Oh my god. Oh, I don't think she was expecting a kiss. Are her teeth okay? Kyle might as well kiss the cameraman. He was right up in there. But I think overall, we're getting some pretty positive reviews. No one is crying. No one is making a disgusted face. Things are good, right? This engagement, um, I'm like scared that like, given her like differences and everything, mm -hmm. if it's gonna be a problem, I don't want to make a mistake and I don't want you to make a mistake. You know what you could have done to avoid this situation? Not have said yes. Have, have some hope. You know what, Kyle? I still have some hope left too, because we need to see Shane and Natalie meet for the first time. If he looks like, I don't know, like an ogre, I, it wouldn't impact my love for him. And I know, you know, it would be the same way for him. I agree. Ever since Shrek came out, no one's been the same since. Natalie is like the perfect human being. What she looks like does not matter to me. <laughs> if she was missing a tooth, then I don't know, I'd probably have to run the other way. But like, you wouldn't? <laughs> Come on. I spent thousands on my teeth. It's like, <laughs> I have limits. I thought that you said you weren't into being shallow anymore. What if she's actually a 70 year old grandma with no teeth? Then what?
Okay, he's checking for teeth, and we're all good. Nice, I don't have to run away. Oh. When I was walking down that hall and I saw Natalie, everything's just sweating like crazy. I'm like, I gotta kiss her right away before I start sweating all over her face. <sighs> Wife checklist, does she have teeth? <sighs> Another couple that has a bit of a shaky start is Salvador and Mallory. Sal is a sweet guy. He's very in touch with his emotions, loves to cry, talk about his feelings, and serenade Mallory with his ukulele. Oh, and they also bond over being Latina. No mas tuve suerte. My parents are Mexican. Okay, nice. Hablas español? Poquito. Ay, híjole. <laughs> <laughs> Mallory talks about how she loves sports, hanging out with the guys. She's not like other girls, she's a pick-me girl. But overall, she seems nice. Stop. <laughs> there is a little bump in the road though, when Jared, another guy that she's been talking to, proposes to her first. You know what, I can see myself with this person for the rest of my life. Yeah? Do you really see a future with me? Like if I was to propose to you? Don't worry though, Sal Serenade won Mallory over and she decides to get engaged to him instead. And I really hope that she doesn't regret her choice. Hi. What, why does she make that face? Why does she look to the side like that? This is definitely not no mas duve suerte. <laughs> Nice to see you in person. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, hi, how are you? <laughs> how are you? It's good to see you in good, person. Good. <laughs> this is so cringe. I actually feel sick. I feel amazing. Yeah? I feel great. <sighs> Finally get to see you. <laughs> yeah, same. Did you picture like... Not at all. No? Not at all. Mm -hmm. But, oh my gosh. My man Salvador didn't write and compose an entire album for you to react like this. I don't really, I don't know. I mean, there's no like, there's nothing wrong with him. It's not something I can really put my finger on, I guess. This is like throwing me off because now I'm like not feeling good about it. <laughs> and I was feeling really good about it. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, Sal, I, I am so sorry, man. If, if she doesn't want your songs, I'm sure one of my rich Asian aunties would love to be serenaded by you. Just don't mind the age gap. Jared is happy though, cause his second choice actually said yes. Let's uh, just hope that she doesn't find out. Spoiler, she does. Speaking of not great first impressions, we have Sheikh and Deepti, two Indian people that feel like they were specifically put on the show just so they could date each other. I don't know, man. I get industry plant vibes from this couple, but let me know what you guys think. My name is Deepti. So you're Indian? Yes. Oh, shit. How'd you know? <laughs> I'm Indian. I actually saw clips of the reunion episode and I changed my stance. Deepti definitely dodged a bullet here. We were to be at a music festival. Do you like being on a guy's shoulders? Yeah. You're up for the challenge, you can pick me up? <laughs> yeah, but um, will I have trouble picking you up? Actually, that comes off very superficial. Um, unsurprisingly, that's how a lot of his conversations went. Would you like working out? Yeah, not a huge fan. Really? Yep. Ooh, I get along best with individuals that do work out. Sheikh is obsessed with picking up and manhandling the ladies. After this awkward encounter, they connected on the fact that they've always dated white people and never another Indian person. Hey, we're all products of our environment. It depends on where you're born and the people you're surrounded with. But that seemed like kind of a weird thing to boast about. More so for Sheikh, he seemed like he was proud of it. Like, like very proud of it. My test for if I can date a girl or not, which is if I can put her on my shoulders at a music festival, she's within a physical range that, that I would date, which, you know, looking back at is such a superficial thing. All right, so after Sheikh finished being quirky and strange, him and Deepthi bond over the fact that they both lost a bunch of weight, which affected their self-esteem. And you guessed it. Sheikh ends up proposing to Deepthi and says this romantic line. As soon as I see her, it's gonna be two hands. Boom, that booty is not safe. I know it's not, but why does that sound like a threat? Okay, Deep D, make sure you're wearing armor plated pants or something because when you meet Shake for the first time, your butt is getting a two handed fist combo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. Uh oh. I don't see any armor plated pants or chainmail. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. Oh 
Holy shit. Hi. Booty, look at that booty. Oh my god. Ew. I, I told you, they literally show everything. And by everything, you can actually hear everything too. After making out and being super hands-on like a mechanic doing an oil change, Shake all of a sudden decides that he isn't attracted to Deepti anymore and decides to tell everyone and Jared. She's like the number one high girl. Like so fun. Like, yeah. I do. I mean, not physically attracted to her. It feels like I'm with my aunt. I'm sorry, did he just compare his fiance to his aunt? Uh, just because you like white girls doesn't mean every Indian girl is your relative. And poor Deepti, she has no idea he feels this way. Communication isn't Sheikh's strong suit. Sheikh isn't obligated to like anyone that's the same race as him. Everyone has preferences. But he pretty much told everyone, except for her. Like, you, you are the most incredible girl I've ever, ever met. Between you and me, the physical part of the relationship, like, we should be like on top of each other non-stop, right? It's not instinctual to me right now. I have no clue what happened, but we have not had yet. We are not physical in that way. Does my breath smell? While Sheikh is busy avoiding Deep D like one of his annoying Indian aunties, almost every other couple sleeps together in Mexico. Except for, you guessed it, our favorite and questionable couple? Kyle and Shayna? <coughs> Excuse me. Shayna uses her Uno reverse card and tells Kyle she's not comfortable sharing a bed with him because of her religion, actually. I'm not 100% sure if that was the specific reason that she said, but I just can't get this horrifying image out of my head. Instead of doing it five times a day, you now have to stay five football fields away because Shayna leaves Kyle alone and goes to sleep in another room after staying up way too late. So. I'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> You're gonna go to your room now? It's. Um, seven. Oh my god, it's early. Forty. Oh my god. Bye. Okay, bye. Well, that's fine. She just wanted to get some beauty sleep so she could uh, think about the situation and make sure she doesn't. Why is she packing her bags? Hello? Excuse me, ma'am. You for you forgot something. Your fiance. So I'm here in paradise by myself, and it's not the same without Shayna. This is one of the saddest moments that I've ever seen on TV. Okay, but thank God Shayna left. If she was on the show any longer, more terrible things like this would have happened. We avoided the bad ending, and we're gonna finish off the show on a good note, is what people say before the final boss appears. I chose Kyle. I said yes to Kyle, but I, I can't stop like thinking about Shane. You should have never said yes to me. Seriously. You're 100% right. And, you're, and you know what? It just feels like you've been lying to me the whole time. Oh no! Turns out Shayna's back with no fiance and a plan for vengeance. The final climax to Love is Blind. All the contestants, even the ones we've only seen for five seconds, gather around for drinks and gossip. Shayna, up to her old tricks again, is scheming up a new way to tear Natalie and Shane apart. By letting Natalie know that if her and Shane don't work out, she knows a guy that she can hook Natalie up with. But only if her and Shane don't work out. Like, no pressure. And you think that Natalie Kardashian from Chicago is gonna take that from Shayna, the potster, also from Chicago? Oh, so yeah. So like, well, what's so, pissing you off? Yeah, what's yeah, talking, what's yeah. pissing you off? Trying to find uh, Natalie a boyfriend or a guy. Who'd you hear this from? People. No, I want to know who told Natalie. you. So Natalie. Told I know it's what I'm asking, asking you. I'm asking for your opinion. Right, it was completely taken out of context. Sure. And I would love if you want me to talk to Natalie. I would talk to Natalie and call her out because this is the. I don't want anyone calling one out. To be honest with you, though. I think that hat enhances her powers of talking really fast to confuse Shane. Hey, at least everyone can see that it's a big old red flag. I did say those things. So listen, we get back to Chicago. Well, if he doesn't work out, I got a friend for you. Okay? It was joking around. I don't understand why she took that and threw it out of context and ran with it. Are you, I don't know if you guys are bored in your relationship, that you guys had to like throw me in there. No, you're her fiance, shouldn't you know? You don't think it's a red flag? That, that we don't talk about you, like us, they're here, like what do you mean, I guess? If I that was my fiance, I'd be like, yo, you like this bitch or what? Shayna gaslighted, gatekeeped, and girl bossed her way back into a situation that doesn't even involve her. Sorry. Why are you smiling? Because it's just, it's just I'm it's shy. Crazy. You are so far from shy. No, I this girl went through 10 different emotions in the span of two minutes, and every emotion was passive aggressive. But in one last ditch effort, Shane ends Shayna with his ultimate attack. I'm sorry about you and Kyle. 
Nice. Glad we were able to finish this video game. We beat the final boss. Congratulations, Shane. Unfortunately, Natalie leaves him on their wedding day, so... Sorry to drop that bombshell on you. If I covered the entire show, this video would be an hour long. Uh, unless you want that, please let me know in the comments so I don't come out with a 5 hour video that no one asked for. There is a reunion coming up, which I'm pretty excited to see. And remember to feed that YouTube algorithm with a like and a comment. When you engage with my videos, it helps me girl boss my way into your recommended. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Is love really blind? I still stand by my first statement. Who the hell knows?